we're looking at the uh, hydrostatic drive, the wheel motor drive machines in the beginning. Um, and we kept hearing the horror stories about the cost of replacement and, uh, you know, they, they're unreliable and, you know, people are always fixing them. And so when we saw this direct drive machine, the first time we saw it, we thought, for us, that's the way to go. Um, and I haven't regretted one, one bit of it. I mean, um, I think it's the only way. You know, if, if you want reliability, um, you know, it's a direct drive right out of the transmission to the rear wheels. And, you know, like I said, we had our 790 for nine seasons. We, we never had a problem with a, a universal or anything. I mean, they just run. The mechanical drive, the power shift transmission, uh, the big thing about it is peace of mind. I mean, it's a, it's a proven technology and, and uh, we run it in our tractors and we run them hard in our tractors all the time. Uh, we know it's gonna hold up. The uh, lack of four wheel drive isn't really an issue as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I'm thrilled not to have to deal with all the uh, hydraulic noises, the, uh, the extra weight of a hydraulic drive system, the, the power robbing tendencies of a hydraulic drive system, and uh, just the simplicity of a mechanical drive system is what's uh, attracted me to the Apache uh, from the day they came out. The biggest thing we've seen in the mechanical drives was the upkeep on the wheel motors and all the hydraulic hoses and uh, the Apaches, what hydraulic hoses they have under them running, the whole machine is what went to one front wheel on a hydrostat. They're a lot easier to work on due to the fact that they don't have the hydraulic hoses and you can be out, you know, 15 miles away from the nearest town and the old machines, you bust a hydraulic hose and you was down. Now, you know, a drive shaft or a U-joint or something. They normally got one at the shop. They bring it out, you throw it in there and you're back going again. And we're on a lot of hills. The hydrostats, you know, you pull and you load hydraulic line, you know, you lose your power. Uh, there's really, we've got along fine with this gear drive, uh, two wheel drive machine over even the bottom ground, wet ground, hill ground, seeps. You know, we really haven't had a situation where we needed a four wheel drive. Just thought the theory of the Apache made sense of the direct drive and the shift. And I had been stuck, of, uh, the, of course it's two wheel drive, but I'd been stuck a few times with the Rogator. And anytime I was stuck, the front end didn't seem to be helping a whole lot. So I really felt like that a two wheel drive with a, a positive lock differential would probably go just as well as, as the uh, Rogator. In using it, I believe my thinking's right, but I did spray a lot of muddy fields and uh, never spun any excess or had any more trouble than I ever had with the Rogator. Some of the companies, you know, they, they talk about their four-wheel drive. Well, I don't know, I'd put this thing up against a four-wheel drive any day because <laughs> it, uh, those hydros, you know, they, you might get a couple wheels spinning, but you're not going to get all of them spinning. And this one, you don't need to if them back ones are spinning. If you use common sense, you're going to get through, through the mud.